Hello CPuser. Today we're going to learn how to mute selective staves. Now ordinarily um, to mute a stave you'd have to go to the mixer um, and then you'll get this thing and then you just have to go mute, mute, mute whatever staves you want but this can take time and if we just want to mute a couple staves or like even a whole bunch of staves really fast uh, we don't want to go over here and then manually be clicking through each of these mute buttons. So instead we're going to learn how to just how to just highlight groups of staves and then mute them all at once instantly with just a keyboard shortcut. So to do this, we're going to use a couple things. One, we're going to use JW Lua. Uh, so if you don't know how to get started with that, see my see my video on that. So we're going to learn how to install a script with that. Uh, secondly, we're going to assign a, a custom keyboard shortcut. So that way, just with the keyboard, we can automatically mute the staves. To start off, we're going to go to the JW Lua page. We're going to go down here to Quick Script Examples and we're going to go find the mute selective stave example. Then all we have to do is take this copy, go over to our JW Lua plugins, open up JW Lua. We're going to paste this in a development environment. We're going to go to plugin definition, plugin name, mute selected staves. Uh, description, it mutes selected staves. The description's not as important, but it, it can help if you like have really big plugins. Undo text. Um, I like this to be the exact same as the plugin name. Uh, so what the plugin name does is that when you go up here, uh, that is what the plugin is actually going to display as. That's the plugin name. Uh, description, you don't see it anywhere besides this menu bar. And then undo text is if you were to go like up here and hit undo, undo up here it'll show you what exactly you're undoing rather than just some amorphous undo. So that's what these do. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go Save As. Find the folder that we like to save JW Lua plugins in. And we're going to call this Mute Selected Staves dot Lua. Make sure you have the dot Lua. It won't work if you don't do that. Hit Save. And then one last thing. In the Manager tab, we're going to go to Menu, New. And we're going to take the plugin that we found, um, mute selective staves, open it up, and put it here. It'll show the plugin right there. It'll say restart it, close, and now we're going to restart finale. And then now, if we check the plugins menu, we should be able to see it says mute selected staves. So next, all we have to do is assign it a keyboard shortcut. So we're going to come back here. We're going to go to System Preferences, Keyboard, Shortcuts, App Shortcuts. And if you don't have a Mac or don't want to do keyboard shortcuts this way, uh, I'll also link in the video description um, more general ways of making a keyboard shortcut. This is just my preferred method. Uh, so we're going to add, and now in the menu title, it has to be exactly the same as what we put before. Mute Selective Staves, Keyboard Shortcut, going to be our keyboard shortcut. Going to come back to Finale. And now just to prove that this actually works, we're going to zoom in. We're going to open up the mixer. And then we're going to select several staves. Like let's say we want these staves. You can even just select uh, single measures if you want and it will mute the entire thing. And now we're just going to hit the keyboard shortcut and watch as it mutes those tracks. And the nice thing is that this will unmute everything uh, that's not already muted, so we can just highlight new things, and it will mute new things. And so that is it. That is how you mute things using keyboard shortcuts in Finale. So if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, so that way you can stay up to date uh, with all the new tips and tricks on how to use Finale more productively.